Welcome to River City Live. We have a great show today. For starters, we have Amy West with Amy West Travel. And a lot of families out there, they're looking to do something this summer, but they're being a little cautious when it comes to travel. So there's been a lot of articles out there that are saying that basically these road trips are the new hot thing. Amy, welcome to River City Live. It's always great to see you. So road trips, right? That's the big one. That's what everybody's talking about. Yeah, thanks, Mark. It's so great to be back. I've missed you all. There hasn't been a whole lot to talk about where travel's concerned lately since we've all been staying at home. But I am really happy to see more places opening up. And uh, if you guys are like me, you're itching to kind of get out there. So I'm going to talk about some of my favorite places to go that are just maybe at max a half day drive away so you can be there by the afternoon if you wanted to. And I think that is key. We live in such a great area that there's so much right out our door. So when it comes to a road trip, we're pretty spoiled. So the first destination that you're recommending is Jekyll Island. Yes, Jekyll Island is one of my favorite. I love all of the Golden Isles, which includes Jekyll Island, St. Simons, and Sea Island, and Little, Little Sea Island. Little St. Simons. Little St. Simons. Yes, that's the whole Golden Isles. I love them all. Jekyll has a special place in my heart. The entire island is a preserve. Um, so they have very limited building there. You can actually bike around the entire island. And of course, you have the Jekyll Island Hotel and Resort, which is where the millionaires vacationed years ago. So there's so much history and culture. Um, but what we're doing, we're actually going as a family next week, and we are going to go to their campsite, which I've been to before. Um, if you're into camping, this is just a treasure of a campsite. It's completely covered with trees. It's very serene. Right across the street, you can go horseback riding. Um, there's a preserve you can ride your bikes on. Um, and if you just want to hop over to the other side of the island, there's great places to eat. There's boutique shopping. Um, you can grab a burger at the pool deck at the Jekyll Island Hotel. You can go to the wharf and have a gorgeous sunset and have drinks right there. It's just a gorgeous setting and there's tons to do. So Jekyll Island is certainly a favorite of mine. And Jekyll Island is about, what, an hour and a half away. And if you go a little farther north, you run into Savannah and it really is another town that's just full of treasures. That's right. And if you think you know Savannah, be prepared because there is an all new um, amazing district that they're opening up on July 29th. It's called the Plant Riverside District and it's an arts and entertainment um, center. And Richard Kessler, who is actually the hotelier responsible for um, a little closer to us, uh, the Casa Monica Hotel in uh, St. Augustine, and he's also the owner of the Grand Bohemian Hotels. He is a resident of Savannah, and this is his gift to the city. So they've taken what was this old plant, this industrial um, big warehouse, and they've turned it into shopping, music, live music, um, art galleries, and just this really incredible destination for, pe for people to come and stay. There's a brand new JW hotel that's going to be there. Um, it's just going to be a wonderful attraction. And so put it on your list. If you're trying to plan some summer travel, this is a great destination just two hours away. You know, I like the sound of that venue because when you think of Savannah, you think of just kind of like old and historic. But now with this, it's a little splash of contemporary. You have art, you set a JW. So I like that because chances are you're going to find something for everyone on that trip. Now, if we keep moving north, we're going to run into Anna Marie Island. And this is one of the places that I want to take the kids to. Again, it's a little bit farther, about four hours, but there's so much to do there. Yep, so Anna Maria Island is actually located off of Tampa um, in the St. Pete area, so it's actually further south. I love Anna Maria. It's like a taste of old Florida, and it gets put on lists all the time for how quaint it is and how charming. It actually a little bit reminds me of the Atlantic Beach Town Center area. It's just great residential area. You have families who've come and traveled there generation after generation, and again, Gorgeous place to kind of ride your bikes around. Um, the Waterline Resort is my choice for that area. It's a marina. It's a resort. Um, it, you basically don't have to leave the property, but if you do, there's so much charm and just great energy that is there at Anna Maria. You can have dinner on the beach. You can go, they have these famous donuts, the Anna Maria Island Donuts, where they have all these crazy toppings. And so it's just a fun family place. Grab yourself an ice cream um, and great memories to be had at Anna Maria. 
Absolutely. And I know we live in a beach town, but it's totally different over there. So it's a great destination. So now we're going to kind of come full circle and bring it back home, St. Augustine. There's yeah. so much to do. We talk about it all the time on our show, and it's right here in our backyard. I know. I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't include St. Augustine because it's so easy to go to. So if you're a little more worried about traveling to other parts of the state or in Georgia where you're not sure kind of what the virus situation is, you can feel a little safer staying close to home. Um, or if you're leaving your kids with the grandparents and you kind of want to know you can get back to them really quickly, St. Augustine is just one of those safe places. Again, if you think you know St. Augustine and you, you're used to the history and all of that, uh, the Embassy Suites by Hilton there at the oceanfront is a brand new property that opened the last year. It's very contemporary, very modern, very different from the normal embassy suites that you would think of. It's just this beautiful boutique coastal vibe. Every room is a suite, I believe. And the pool deck is so fun. It's got all those great big egg cabana chairs. <laughs> They've got great food, and it just feels really fresh while still being driving distance from downtown so you can get all that charm and the history that you're looking for, but you don't have to stay at a historic property, which some people like that and some people are not as much into it. Absolutely, and because it's so close, it's really easy to plan that one last minute. Amy, it was great to see you. Hopefully in the near future, I could see you in person. Now, if people want to learn more about you, where can they go? Head over to amywesttravel.com. Um, I'm on Instagram as well. And most recently, thanks to the quarantine, we are all about TikTok. So you can find us on TikTok now too. And I'm a fan. You're doing such creative, funny stuff with TikTok with you and your family. I love them. I, I see them in your For You page. So you're doing a good job. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you. <laughs> That's how you see can you tell soon. now if you're relevant. Are you on TikTok or not? I'm there. Exactly. I'm here for it. <laughs> you have arrived. <laughs> yes. Thanks, 